Hey guys, how you all doing? Right, today brass oil lines, copper oil lines even, with brass fittings. So I normally do these on the bobbers, I do, because the standard oil lines are not the prettiest of things. So I'm gonna try and go a very slightly different way. Not to, there's not a lot you can do with oil lines, to be honest. So, I'm going to start with the joiner, which is a bit of brass. I'm going to try and make it a tiny bit longer than what I normally do, so it stands out. So I'm going to turn that down and grind it up and shape it. Then the bits that actually fit to the head, again, bit of turning, bit of drilling. And then we'll shape all the lines to fit it all together. So let's see how we go. Right, so far, We've got that turned down, put a bit of a taper on the end of it. We've drilled that out, kind of looking like a big bolt at the moment, <laughs> but that should change. I've salvaged a few parts off the original oil line, obviously to make up this one where it all fits into the engine. So yeah, we've got this little bit here along with that. Have we got that the right way around? No, I haven't. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I have. Hold on. That's it, because that way. <laughs> I'm being stupid. Not new there. So we've got to get the copper line into that. And solder all that in. And then we'll start shaping it. I'm thinking I might do it slightly different. So I'm thinking normally, let's get that a bit better. <laughs> normally, I bring the oil line up a short way across to the middle, then up. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring it up a bit more before I send it across. So I'm going to see, I'm going to have a mess about with it. And then obviously this big bit will be sat in the middle and then the oil lines will go across to the feeds here. We'll see how it goes. We'll have a mess about. I've, like I say, I've done this a bit bigger so we've got a bit more brass on there. As there's a few items of brass on the bike. So I thought that'd be a bit of a better touch. Anyway, next bit. Well, I'm going to get my milling machine out. That'll be a Bosch angle grinder then. And get this into shape very carefully because I certainly don't want to scrap that out. Right, I've cross drilled that. I've only done it on the pillar drill, so I've gone in from each side because with such a small drill, it's very easy for it to wander off. I'll come out of this side in a completely different place. So yeah, I've drilled from both sides. I've got it in the middle. Now for the uh, the delicate bit of putting flats on these two sides. And then it shouldn't look like a bolt. Hopefully.
Right, I'm trying to make this slightly different from all the previous ones, which I've done pretty much the same. So, yes, all the others came round here, not the middle. I've done a longer brass T piece. I've now sort of done a radius on the top of that. And normally I bring that right up here and just branch the others straight into the oil feeds there. I'm thinking of doing this down here. It sort of stands out with the black cylinder. And then bring in the oil lines up and in. Or somehow like so, I don't know yet. I think I'm going to go with that there. Yeah, and then have a mess about with these pipes. Might even bring them out and up in line with these fixing points of the rocker covers. Mm. It's not a lot you can do with all lines, really, to make them different but I'm determined to make them different from all the others. We'll see. Right, rolling forward to 4am the following day. Yeah. I had a few other things that cropped up as usual so here we are ready to get back on this so i got that far i can't even remember what i filmed <laughs> i've got that far we've got the brass splitter on there now i'm messing about with the feed pipes that come from that like i say i want to try and do this slightly different to the others i've done on all the other end fields so yeah let's continue messing about till i've got something i'm happy with so far i've got this obviously we've got these uh, to go on i shan't bother putting the seals on them yet so that won't make no difference when we build it back up for the final time So I reckon just simply do a return on them now and curve them. So yeah, curve them that way and then curve them that way into the holes. I think that will look all right. I say it's not a great deal you can do with them. And obviously, It looks a bit better than that. Well, I think it does. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. It's, I may have to do this shaping by hand. I don't know, it may be a bit close to go in there to get a return. I'll try it. Let's give this one a try first. Obviously, there's the stop. I think I might be able to do it. We'll get the curve in and then I can do fine adjustments by hand. Ooh. Hey, that's not bad. Right, let's get the other one to that stage. How about that? I've about got that the same. That's lucky. So then, 
they're slightly high but I can take a tiny bit off this pipe here just to bring it all down so if I get them now do another roll that way I think that might do it it's a bit different I say Normally this T piece I do up here and do these pipes straight in. That's just made it a little bit more interesting, I think. Right, let's return them into the engine. Couple of tweaks by hand. have a look so this is going well so we gotta get that curve sorted because I think I need to roll it to follow the engine so we haven't got this gap here so I think that's gonna just take a bit of tweaking by hand I've got the joiner down a bit more. I've got that coming to the centre of the hole. It's running parallel with one of the, uh, like the top fin of the head. So I think that's it, that's all going well. Everything's good down here. So I've just marked it. I think I'm happy to cut that and then get that in place and do the other side. side right sorted uh, that saw was a bit uh, well I wouldn't say tricky it took a bit of fiddling around because actually the shape of the fins on this side is different to that side so sort of got an happy balance for it to follow is it follow the engine as best as I can with both sides still sort of looking the same yeah I'm happy with that right now for the tricky part soldering it all together and keeping it all in that shape what we'll do because obviously we can't solder it on the bike is do little lines so we can hold it in the vise we know where everything goes temporary jig sorted out so I've got my magnet it's taped to that I've got a manky old drill bit shoved in there so the pipe doesn't go too far in my lines are in line 
So that should do it. to get a good bead all the way around. Nice, that's sorted. It's gone in all right, that has. Right. Plonk that back on, see if we're still in shape. Looking good. Right, I'll get the other side soldered up. And then we've got this bit. This bit's the tricky bit, because you've got to be really careful with the heat, because when you're getting one in, you have to let it cool down. You should get too much heat transfer all the way through it and they all start dropping out. <laughs> As you're putting one in, you're putting heat into the other one and that drops out. So that's the tricky one. So I'll get this next side done first and then we'll go for this. You're up, Blue. <laughs> then you'll be on. <laughs> God. He obviously doesn't want to be on camera today. See ya. <laughs> so, just double check. They're all free. We will give them a bust through. In case we got any debris in there. Right, well, let's see if it fits still. I'll do everything loose to start with. I got bonded washers on these. They seal up nice, they do. Oh, looking good. What you have to be careful with when you're doing these ones up, only go so far, be very careful Sometimes I sort of finally nip them up when the engine's running. If we get a slight seep of oil, I'll just nip until it stops because it can grip the brass and twist. And then that's all this out of shape. You see so many of the standard lines like that one, where that's obviously gripped with someone undoing it and it's twisted the line. 
I see loads of these like that. Some of them quite bad. You wonder how they're getting the oil through them. But anyway, I don't know. Some may prefer the standard one. I don't know. Oh, I think that looks a bit better. It's all nice and sealed up. There we go, I'm happy with that. Slightly different to the others. Yeah, that'll do. Next job, the engine's going in the frame, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. It's really gonna start taking shape. Uh, also, while I'm on the oil lines, I, I've had quite a lot of people ask me to make them a set of them. It, it's not worth it. The, the, the amount of time it takes, it, it just wouldn't be worth it. You know, the, at the end of the day, I, I can't sort of work for nothing. It, it, the price I'd have to put on them would be ridiculous you know you you're nearly into a full day to put them together you know obviously i'm doing a lot of it by hand so it does take quite a long time not so bad when you're putting them on a full build because obviously you can soak it up in the whole build but just to do them lines for somebody i know it, the, the price would probably be a bit scary because like i say it's just about a full day on them really every time you've done all the little parts cleaned them all up polished them and everything it is quite a big job although it looks very simple i suppose with the uh, with modern equipment it would be a lot quicker doing all these bits and stuff but yeah it takes me a while anyway i think that'll do i'm gonna get everything ready for the next job Cheers for watching guys, take care. <laughs>